Gesso is one of the most important materials for painters. So much of it is used, and it is used so often, especially if you make your own canvases. A huge downer though is how expensive gesso is, especially if you're covering a lot of surface. So as part of my don't buy it, make it philosophy, I put together this video to show you a cheap and easy way to make your own. Gesso is made of a binder, fillers, and white pigment that is usually titanium dioxide. These will be our components. Let's start with the binders. Traditional gesso uses rabbit skin glue as a binder in sizing. I will not be using that and will instead be making acrylic gesso. PVA won't do as the main binder, although it is a polymer, but it is not acrylic. To make this gesso as high quality as store bought one, it's important to splurge just a little on an acrylic based binder. You can either use white acrylic paint from the art store, or transparent acrylic medium also from the art store, or latex house paint. In this case, I will use latex house paint. Latex house paint is not latex, it's actually acrylic, as misleading as that is, and is usually sold in larger quantities for much cheaper. You want to get the highest quality product in the store, but the most important part though is checking the ingredients. You can see here that this ingredient list is printed extremely poorly, but I managed to figure out that the main ingredient is acrylic, and that it contains titanium dioxide. It also contains some vinyl acetate, which from what I understand is basically PVA glue. This isn't ideal, but I really believe it won't do any harm. If you want a painting that lasts 200 years, this may not be the way to do it, but I only care that my pieces don't expire before I do. I think this will do fine. I will begin by dumping a solid amount of this latex house paint into a plastic container that I planned to use to keep my gesso in. Next step is filler. For this, I am using whiting chalk. This is a chalk that is used to draw lines on tennis and football fields. It will act both as a filler and a pigment. Whiting chalk is extremely cheap, and it's easy to find in hardware and material supply stores. You could probably also use crushed up chalk, but to me, that doesn't feel enough. Make sure that you have sifted the chalk beforehand. I'm placing around 5 cups or so of chalk into this batch, and then I'm using a paint mixing attachment on a drill to mix it up good. When it's mixed enough, you're basically done. Told you this was easy. Here is a quick test of the results. I'm using the gesso on a piece of unprimed and unstretched canvas. It's very opaque and gives great coverage. It also dries matte, but isn't chalky at all. All in all, this is good gesso. I hope you found this video useful. Please remember to leave a comment down below if you have any questions or suggestions. And thanks for watching.